What's up everybody, it's your boy Versace Pokemon and I'm so excited to welcome you to the very first episode of Pokemon Unbound 2.0 Insane Mode. This is my first playthrough of this game ever. Insane Mode is the hardest difficulty there is, but you already know we're not playing around. I hope you guys are excited for this as I am. Today we are going to be taking on the first gym. As you'll see right here, when he asks this question, you want to say no. Because if you say yes, that gives a defense and special defense buff to both you and your opponent's first slot Pokemon. That's right, this is going to be a double battle. You can say yes and do the buff if you want, but I found that that first slot Pokemon you will see is Gloom. You want to take that Thing out as soon as possible so it's worth not taking the defense buff for yourself so without further ado here we go we're about to kick things off first gym leader Merskull let's go as I said before he's gonna start with gloom as well as Floette and that gloom is gonna be the most dangerous one I'm telling you right now as I lead with Litleo and Gibble now as you can see the fog is deep now this is a field effect that reduces accuracy of every Pokemon on the field including the opponent's Pokemon but you already know the RNG is never in our favor you guys know how that works so we're gonna take this first turn to start setting up we're gonna go for the workup with Litleo and Sandstorm with the Gibble Litleo moves first which is good to know he's gonna hit the workup which boosts attack and special attack. Litleo is a special attacker, so that's all we're going to need to worry about for this battle. And Floette goes for grassy terrain. This is going to do a few things. First of all, it's going to prompt Floette to consume his grassy seed, which is going to boost his defense. Grassy terrain also heals everybody on the field for 1 16th of their health per turn, which is why we use Sandstorm essentially to negate that. Also, synergizing with Gibble's ability Sand Veil, upping Evasion in the Sandstorm, allowing us to dodge the Sleep Powder, and this is huge. In addition to the accuracy reducing fog effect from the field, Gibble is going to be hard to hit. So now the turn is going to go by. Everybody is going to be buffeted by the Sandstorm, taking 1 16th damage, as well as being healed by the Grassy Terrain for 1 16th damage. That's what I meant before about the Sandstorm essentially negating the heals from the Grassy Terrain. So now important to keep in mind, we have Grassy Terrain up, we have Sandstorm up, and we have the Fog. So it's time to start putting the plan into action here. We want to actually take Gibble out because we want to get Mawile onto the field as soon as possible. We need a Gibble on that first turn to get the Sandstorm up, but now it's time to bring out Mawile. Mawile at this point in the game has a pretty useful moveset, as well as Intimidate, which is of course a very useful ability. Although not so much for this battle because Flower Veil is going to prevent Gloom's attack from being dropped. He's a special attacker either way, so it actually doesn't matter. Now we're going to hit the Incinerate. This is important. We want to keep Litleo in that first slot, just spamming Incinerate for the whole battle as much as we can. We're going to get hit with Moonblast out of Floette, and it's not very effective. Gloom goes for Sleep Powder, and it's going to land this time. He's going to hit Litleo, unfortunate for us. Now, this is his role. He basically spams Sleep Powder. Luckily for us, Litleo has a Chesto Berry. We were given Chesto Berries before this battle as a tool to deal with the Gloom because he is very annoying to deal with, but... As I couldn't stress enough before, that Gloom is so important that we take him out as soon as we can. He's just going to keep spamming Sleep Powder, and eventually we're going to run out of Chesto Berries. If he puts all my Pokemon to sleep before we're able to take him out, that's going to be a big problem. So the three Pokemon here that are really key to this strategy is going to be Litleo, Mawile, and Alolan Sandshrew. And you'll see coming up in a little bit exactly what I plan to do here. For now, Litleo's role is to get that work up in on the first turn to boost his special attack. We're going to keep spamming Incinerate, primarily focusing on the Gloom, and take this thing out as soon as we can. There goes the Incinerate. Not quite enough to take him out just yet, but we should be able to get him on the next turn. Mawile is going to go for Stockpile, boosting defense and special defense. Now, Mawile type resists all of the opponent's Pokemon. As you can see, Floette is going to go for the Moon Blast into Mawile. We have the defense buffs now. We also type resist, and it is not going to do very much damage at all. Unfortunately, though, Gloom is going to hit Mawile with Sleep Powder, but that is perfectly fine. That's the ideal situation here because Mawile's got the Chesto Berry left. He did not sleep Litleo. That would have been bad if Litleo got slept because he had no longer has the Chesto Berry and we need him awake. We need to take the Gloom out before he puts Litleo to sleep. But at this point, we're in a pretty good position. Litleo is the fastest Pokemon on the field. It is the end of the turn. Gloom is almost dead. And one more shot out of Incinerate should definitely be enough to take him out. So Gloom is going to out-sustain the Sandstorm due to the grassy terrain healing him for a bit and also the leftovers healing him for a bit. So even though he's taking damage from the Sandstorm, he is healing more damage than he is taking. That's why it's important that we get that super effective move Incinerate in on him on this turn right now. We should move first here. 
So here we go. Litleo is going to use the incinerate, targeting the gloom. This is going to be enough to take him out. Beautiful. We do some residual damage to the floet on the side as well. Not quite enough to take him out, but the gloom was the biggest threat, and we got him out of the way, and this is huge. It was just in time, too, because we had just run out of Chesto Berries. Now, Mowile is free to set up stockpiles. He is going to be unkillable boosting his defense and special defense once again. He's going to wall their entire team off. Floet is going to target Litleo with the Moonblast. Unfortunately, it's still not going to do very much damage, though. A little bit more than it would have done to the Mawile, but Litleo is still going to resist it due to being a fire type. And with the very little amount of health Floet has left, the Sandstorm damage is going to be enough to take him out, and let's go. That's two down, two to go. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, be sure to like the video, click that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future every week. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this one. I love talking to you guys in the comments. But don't worry, it's not over yet. We still got two Pokemon to go. He's going to send out Comfey and Weedle. Don't you worry, this battle is not over yet. We are not out of the woods quite yet. So here we go. Here comes the real strategy here. Unfortunately, we are not the fastest on the field anymore. Comfey is going to outspeed us, hitting the Mawile for negligible damage. And this is why we have all this stockpile set up for now. Weedle is also going to attack Mawile with Bug Buzz or, or Bug Bite. Sorry, still not going to do any damage. Litleo fires back with an Incinerate, taking out the Weedle on the first shot. Now, to be quite honest, I underestimated Litleo going into this battle. He has put in so much work. The plan here was to see, we used all the stockpiles, got up plus two. Now we baton pass into Sandtrue, Alolan Sandtrue. Sandtrue pretty much walls his entire team. Plus the two stockpiles, we're just going to bring out Sandtrue after the baton pass and spam Metal Claw. Hitting for super effective damage against both of his fairy types. But it looks like Sandtrue wasn't even able to come out until he was down to his last Pokemon. So this main strategy I had was not even necessary in the long run. Litleo took it upon himself to do all the work. So here we go. As you can see, it's pretty much downhill from here. Apparently, we are out of the woods a little bit. So we're going to just attack here. And Comfy is going to move first, unfortunate, but that's okay. He's going to hit us with Drain Kiss, and this is going to do no damage at all. Hardly any damage, thanks to the type resistance and the two Baton Pass stockpiles as well. Comfy is going to avoid both attacks here. As you can see, the fog coming into play at the very end of the battle, just delaying the inevitable here. I mean, it's possible he totally could come back. If RNG wants to hate me today, I could miss every attack, and Comfy just comes back and sweeps my whole team you never know there it goes for the drain kiss he's gonna hit the litleo and he's gonna resist due to being a fire type not gonna do very much damage at all comfy is gonna restore a minuscule amount of health it's not gonna matter we hit the incinerate it's gonna do a good chunk about half of his health santry is gonna hit the metal claw both attacks landing this turn we get the lucky crit and that is it for comfy and that is it for the first gym of pokemon unbound 2.0 insane Gym Leader Merskull, GG. So there you have it, folks. That's the first gym. Pokemon Unbound 2.0 on insane difficulty. Definitely a great first gym. Great start to this game. Very challenging. Very fun so far. I'm absolutely loving Unbound 2. It's a whole original region, original storyline, and insane. You get all the typical stuff that makes good ROM hacks hard, like level caps, can't use items in battle, the AI is really good, all that good stuff. But from what I've heard, this gym, this first gym is child's play compared to the rest of the game. It gets way harder from here. That's just what I've heard, but we will see. I'm excited to find out. I hope you guys are too. Remember, if you want to keep up with all these gym battles and hardest trainer battles and Unbound 2 Insane mode, don't forget to click the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I always say that. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the battle. Let me know what you think about Unbound 2 also, like the game in general. I want to hear from you guys. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.